उड़ान विद राजू प्रजापति ओके सो डियर फ्रेंड्स डूइंग एमबीए फ्रॉम आम अहमदाबाद इज एवरीवनस ड्रीम राइट वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक टू वन ऑफ द पर्सन हु हैज गॉन देयर हु इज करेंटली पोसिंग हिज एमबीए फ्रॉम आम अहमदाबाद in food and agri business management that is a choice for all the you know food technologists and agriculture and allied students generally right now we'll see today's journey of sandeepan from uh, him only so yeah mr sandeepan uh, just tell about you sale how you end up here um so hi um, i have started my education i have started my education from uh, Uh, Jharkhand, Dhanbad, where I belong, and uh, there I started my education from uh, Dinopoli School, CMRI. Uh, after that, I went to Delhi Public School, and post that, I went to Banaras Hindu University for my undergraduation in Agriculture Sciences. Uh, I was new in that field, uh, so uh, got to know a lot about agriculture, uh, how things work, how uh, crops are produced, how to manage them, and how to uh, harvest them. but uh, mostly you have to i have i had i was more curious and uh, uh, mostly you had to know about how to end this uh, harvesting how do that end up into the market how does that come to your plate in your home um, so that what excited me and i th- thought of pursuing an mba in uh, agri business management to learn more about the value chain how to add more value to your crops um uh, what else you can do to enhance their uh, shelf life and uh, yeah uh, to product it and sell those products at a better price and at a better place right what is so unique about your course you did your mm-hmm. bachelor's from you know uh, banaras hindu university that is one of the you know old and you know very older or famous university and agriculture is quite famous there we i am from up so i have you know had that story people you know dream of studying from agriculture and bh of course all the branches so what is so unique about your course in bachelors um so in bachelor so basically the infrastructure the resources that we get at bhu is a uh, is a uh, best in class best in the standards uh, standards of the industry uh, we had uh, farms we had uh, the infrastructure to uh, to learn about what is uh, going inside those value chains we had those on field trials uh so we got to know about the uh, uh the crops that were produced and uh, how they are produced uh, what to do about those uh, diseases that are very much uh, prominent in northern india or in any part of india for that matter uh so how to handle those things and uh, this is not a course that you will read a few books and you will get uh, get uh, experience in it you'll have to go on field you will have to learn the practical way of doing things so the more resources that you have uh the better so that's what uh, banaras hindu university was very good at uh, they had the ample resources and ample opportunities for you to learn on field uh, so yeah that's something that was unique about uh, bhu yeah i got it yeah. generally people has you know choices of subjects people some some of the you know they after bachelor's they generally go for masters in icr there are a lot of 20 subjects are there where you can do masters okay what did motivated to us i mean to you to do mba uh, yeah so uh, what we learnt in bachelors is more about uh, the theoretical aspect the technical aspect of how to grow a crop uh, what to do if the crop fails uh, how to manage those uh, various climatic factors to enhance your production uh, now the point is that after that what do you do after that you harvest those crops then you sell in the market uh but that's all about it but we are going into an age of digitization we are going into an age where capitalism is all way uh, in yeah. our uh, roots so we have to enhance our production not only enhance our production we have to add value to what we produce so selling right. a tomato uh, at uh, 10 rupees 20 rupees kilo in the market or selling a tomato sauce for 100 or 200 bucks in the market Hi, that well. that that's adds something yeah that's value sure, addition sure, sure. value addition and uh, and there are a lot of opportunities in india there are a lot of crops the climate is so uh, we are so blessed in india that we can grow so much uh, variety, variety of crops yeah. from the mountains right. to uh, the deserts in rajasthan oh. so yeah so that's something that excited me that uh, to learn more about the value chain to more learn more about uh, what more we can do with the basic knowledge the theoretical or technical knowledge and uh, get into the business aspect of it and yeah that's what excited me 
management plus basics it is going to you know, go a very huge combination right yeah mm-hmm. and generally you know uh, you know the place that you are the the position that you have reached at right now i mean you are doing uh, you know masters you know that mba from uh, fabm I'm Amdava. So it is not that much easy, right? A lot of people get a call and even after getting calls, they're not able to convert that, right? So first we have to qualify CAD, then we have to go through the, you know, a lot of interview process, GD and all those things. So just till how, you know, you managed to do this, how, what was your, you know, kind of journey of getting into there? How did you prepare for MBA basically? Yeah, so basically the first step is uh, the common aptitude test, the CAT, which is common for all uh, MBA aspirants. And uh, after qualifying that, things change a bit. Uh, but as uh, when I see at hindsight, it basically in any college, in any interview, it boils down to two things. How much you know about yourself, your subject, and how much you know about the things that are happening surrounding you. So if you are an agriculture student, the interviewer, tends to ask more about what you have learned in agriculture so far and what more can be done with your knowledge into the field that you are going to step in. So uh, that is more about uh, how things uh, go about. So basically, if you are uh, preparing for an interview uh, in any domain for any college, um, it uh, you have to have a basic knowledge about what is going in and around in the country, what adds, what value addition can be done in the field of agriculture uh, with that information and what information that you bring to the table that will help you leverage uh, in your upcoming studies. Uh, so that's how we prepare for the interviews. Uh, go for a round of current uh-huh. affairs, a round of your subjects, yeah. All right, in general layman, layman in the language of layman, uh, we have to qualify CAT first. What is the general cutoff that we can get a call from? I mean, you can expect the call from Ahmedabad and other colleges related to agribusiness management. So related to agribusiness management, there has they have not in, uh, anywhere declared their uh, cutoffs, but uh, an overall cutoff of more than 85 percentile uh, should get, fetch you a call in the general category and 80 percentile overall uh, for other categories, uh, you'll get a call. Uh, there are sectional cutoffs which are not uh, available in the public domain, but uh, uh, we have seen in the past that if you have more than 50 percentile in the sectionals, uh, you should get a call. Oh, all right, all right. So if someone is having more than 85 percent, they can expect a call from FABM Ahmedabad, right? The okay. second stage is the second stage is you get a call, and after that getting call, you have to you know they'll be calling off and all in for interview or something. Yes, so uh, hmm. they uh, they uh, basically schedule an interview, and uh, I'm Ahmedabad has this unique fe- uh, feature that uh, they call for interviews in different city. Uh, you get to choose that city. There you go and uh, they conduct an AWT analytical writing test before the interview. And after that, they will conduct their interview uh, in that designated place. Okay, so what is what we get in an analytical, uh, analytical written test? Some topics around the corner. I mean, uh, it's a current topic or something. Yes, so uh, basically whatever is happening uh, Currently, uh, mostly analytical writing test uh, surrounds about that. So last year when uh, when I was appearing for this, there was this buzz around uh, who is uh, the goat in football. Is it uh, uh, Messi or is it Ronaldo? So the topic was mostly around it is very difficult to identify a goat uh, in any field of sport because they have their own expertise. They have their own uh, oh. journey. So what are your thoughts about it? So you get 20 minutes, you get to write what you want. Uh, and they evaluate on the basis of that. All right. Okay. So uh, if you're putting your highlights of your preparation journey and, uh, uh, you know, so which one was the most crucial part that you feel like uh, in, in whole preparation journey of MBA from college, from BHU to this Ahmedabad? So I think the most crucial part is the preparation of CAT itself. Uh, once you get the hang of the examination, uh, it becomes easier after that. So uh, it's very important that you give your uh, tests very regularly and not only giving your test, you have to analyze those tests because whatever is your strength will remain your strength. But whatever is your weakness, if you can't make it to the average, at least to the average uh, on the day of the examination because of the time pressure or because of the uh, like uh, the questions that are thrown at you. Uh, you get to be a bit started. So uh, it's be- better to have your strengths at your strengths, but also your average out your weaknesses 
so that you at least get off the sectional cutoffs. So that is something that is uh, very crucial. After you are get done with CAT, uh, you just have to get a hang of what you have done in the past and uh, more about current affairs, and you will get through your interviews. A bit of mock interview practices, and uh, you get through. Yeah, all right. Okay, so how did you prepare for your GDPI? So all the colleges having the same or I mean, it is a different for different colleges that all the PIEs and GD round for, uh, you know, different colleges for, you know, ABM and this FABM. Uh, it is different for different colleges, but mostly it uh, boils down to uh, your subject matter, what you have learned, your uh, ability to put an insight of yourself. How do you think? What are your strengths, weaknesses? What do you where do you see yourself in five years or 10 years? Uh, apart from that, a bit of mathematics because MBA, be it any uh, sector, you have to do a bit of mathematics and finance. So mathematics is something that they expect a bit of probability, a bit of statistics uh, and calculus. Uh, basic calculus and basic statistics are enough, more or less. Um, apart from that, current affairs and yes, uh, good to go. These are the broad topics. Apart from that, most of the IMs I have seen like in the past uh, when I was preparing, most of the IMs, they provide you a GDPI Bible. So it's a comprehensive book for different IMs. You, they, uh, you will get to uh, know about it when the calls are out. It, uh, it uh, circulates in the internet uh, or they will send you mails uh, sending those uh, GDPI Bible. Once you go through that, you will get a list of topics that you can prepare for the GD. Uh, that becomes very use, useful and also the PI questions. Uh, so yeah, that's more or less. So that we get uh, uh, almost similar or kind of it may be very different what we get as a you know preparation journey we get from the coaching center. It's different. It's different. The GDPI Bible is uh, very different from what you get from a coaching uh, institute because uh, mostly in the coaching institutes, yeah. it's the same topics that's running for the last four to five years. They here uh, the students so, make these uh, uh, topics yeah. and also the entire Bible. So <clears throat> it is uh, something that. Uh, uh, but of course, in the future, like I've seen that many people, many uh, coaching institutes are picking up those uh, topics and they are enhancing their own module. So basically, if you, if you have a yeah. hang of both the combinations, it was it you is going it. to be a bang on. Like, yeah, it's right. it's going to be a hundred ninety percent convert. Yeah. Apart from the ten percent exactly. confidence that you show on the day. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Because you have already a kind of you know what has been asked in previous years, and then you yes. know what can you expect as similar kind of trends, right? It, it won't be uh, ultimately a different thing. All right, yeah. So, uh, if if I ask, this will be like a kind of not uh, so fancy question, but yeah, uh, of course, I am Ahmedabad. This everyone says, but how did he, you know, choose only I am Ahmedabad? No, so I have to just particular. You are you sure about that? No, I have to go for I am Ahmedabad. Or if you could have, you know. Somehow, unfortunately, if you couldn't get into Ahmedabad, so would you choose something else or would you go for one year more preparation? Uh, so I had uh, the converts from Irma and Ahmedabad both. So uh, I talked to seniors both in Irma and Ahmedabad. What attracted me more towards Ahmedabad is uh, the pedagogy that is followed followed here. Like in the first year, we are doing the classes with the same PGP batch currently running in the mm. uh, uh, campus right so uh, the subjects yeah. are same uh, so in the first year of mba you are learning all the basics of uh, everything uh, related to uh, management uh, be it finance be it operations be it marketing in the second year you get to choose your subjects and uh, there you have to show your agribusiness skills so that was a comprehensive uh, domain that i thought that would benefit me in the long run uh, but yeah, in, if I would not have converted uh, I'm in the bad, I would have definitely opted for Irma. Oh, great. Okay. So generally, uh, you know, before going to college, we have kind of a fascination and dream or kind of imagination that, you know, like how, so let's say we want to move to Disneyland. How Disneyland will be? So some kind of fans, fantasy is true to be there, right? In, let's say if I haven't gone to Europe, I used to fantasize, oh, it will be like this, the, uh, you know, Paris will be like this, or Germany will be like this. So before college going on, so we used to make some kind of fantasy, right? So I you get that kind of vibes after getting into there because now you have living for you know four or five months or six months, you know, first semester. Uh, almost you might have completed first second semester. So what do you feel? It is almost the way you thought, or it is kind of very different. Um, it is uh, like as you said that when you go to a when you 
want to go to Paris or when you, when you want to go to Europe, you are very fascinated about the things you will buy there or the places that you will roam. But what you don't consider is there is in immense cold and you'll have to uh, wear a lot of clothes before you head out. So it's something similar that uh, whatever you are expecting, everything will be fulfilled. But there is a uh, bit of expectation from your end as well. You have to work hard. You'll have to uh, push your limits every day. Uh, like uh, we have a very common sleep schedule of four to five hours every day. So that is what you have to sacrifice if you want to uh, achieve more and get more out of this, uh, these colleges. Yeah. Right, that, that teaches, you know, what is hard work is and, and that's what the reason people in AMS and night is, you know, if you see sometimes and generally I, I follow, I mean, uh, more often I, I spend my time on LinkedIn. I see, I have seen, I have seen any AM guy doing great in their field not the way they write the way they you know it's really amazing and that should make people to know look let's let's do something from Ahmedabad, either pgp or you know whatever the course that is the executive program let's go there let's let's leave that life yeah anyway so uh how is the experience till now have you know you have got from the course it's it's, it's you know tiring it's it's you know kind of uh what we call enthusiastic what do you feel it is it is both tiring and enthusiastic as well because as i mentioned that in the first year we do our courses in parity with uh, the pgp students uh, they have a lot of experience in their field so if someone is a ca he is a very good in uh, finance uh, when you enter that class you feel like uh, what is going on what are these tables what is balance sheet mm -hmm. <laughs> so for, for us it's something new uh, so uh, with time you get to get a hang of it uh, after the first semester uh, towards the second semester you get the hang of the subjects and then it becomes a bit easier more more the peers that help you in the process your seniors that help you uh, it mm. becomes easier if it, if you're all alone it will be very difficult true 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 seniors are the you know uh, the I, I believe the seniors are the first teachers in the college rather than professors and teachers yes seniors are the <laughs> yeah true okay so uh, how much challenging has been till now either it was a challenging you know managing you know uh, uh, schedule will totally change right you have like you told that you'll be sitting four to five hours you know everything is like even at 10 minutes you'll be getting for making a paper so what are the challenges that you face so far you have faced yeah so the challenges are very pretty much different from what we have had in the uh, bachelor's degree here we are functioning for at least 17 to 18 hours a day uh, almost every day if you are uh, having a good Sunday uh, attending a concert, you have to keep in mind that tomorrow at 8.45, I'll have to be in class. You have you are not allowed to take a leave. Uh, after the classes okay. get over, we are sitting on the uh, lunch table and we are uh, looking at the notice board that if there is a quiz as 1.45. At one one ten, our class dismisses and at 1.45, we are all ready to be prepared for a quiz. If it happens, we'll have to rush back to our rooms, uh, prepare our materials and at 2.30, we'll have to be back at the uh, classrooms to attend a quiz. Only after that, you get uh, like free. Uh, not even uh, that much because in the evening you'll have to prepare for assignments, you'll have to prepare for uh, projects and uh, we have clubs there, we have to participate on those clubs activities and then again prepare for the next day classes. We have pre reads, uh, we have to read before the classes. Um, so this is something that takes a very uh, different direction from what we are uh, used to and in any field this is not something that is uh, new to us. It's for every student who is studying uh, here uh, functioning for 17 to 18 hours a day it, uh, it takes a bit of a toll but at the same time you learn a lot of things <laughs> very exciting so, yeah, so <laughs> can you say a you know one day journey from morning to a night schedule a roughly schedule how do you guys manage from morning you start yeah so uh basically if you are a breakfast person you have to wake up at 7 30. If, if you are not then you can easily wake up at 8. uh then you have classes from 8 45 sharp you have to okay. reach at 8 45 at 8 46 the doors are closed <laughs> so oh, <great>. yeah. <laughs> yeah at uh, 10 you get your first break uh most of the students here they have their breakfast at 10 only uh, uh in those 20 okay. minutes 20 minutes break after that so basically there are three classes in the day uh till 110 we are done with our classes after 110 till 145 you are allowed to have your lunch you can allow to have your lunch till 230 but at 145 your eyes are very much attracted towards the notice board 
do is uh, if we have a quiz then uh, uh, we have we have to prepare uh, in the mm -hmm. next 45 to 1 hour 45 minutes and uh, then the quizzes happen at 245 uh, after that you are free for the day but uh, in the evening then you have uh, different activities like there are people who are associated with sports so they go out to play uh, there are people who are associated with clubs uh, so those clubs have meeting uh, we have study group meetings the next day we have to prepare for the next three lectures in the next day uh, those periods are, are done and after that once you get free at around 11 12 in the night you get some time to socialize and after that, at, like, at around two, you will get to sleep if you want to. General timing for sleeping is 2 a.m. The average time is 2 a.m. If you sleep before that, it's a sin. Oh my God. That's a really good it's a sin. Yeah. Because you don't fit, then you don't fit in the community. Yeah, because you are sleeping before that. <laughs> yeah, of because course, you we'll have to. Uh, our seniors, our seniors once told us that there are three essays in uh, IMA that we follow. Either you study, or you sleep, or you socialize. You can't do all three. You you'll have to choose at least two of the three. Okay, so what is your choices? Uh, mine is mostly study and socialize. Okay, so generally we forget sleeping, and this is how we know you know we become more and more competent. And you know, this is one good thing because. Well, the journey I've seen, like, no, you know, uh, if we are having these two things and if we are able to make in two years, it is going to be a great thing, you know. Then you don't look back. Either you get something, of course. Let's say you, I don't know, it's just uh, everyone's journey, everyone's, you know, pattern is different. Okay? But you really get something, of course, yeah. Now, the next thing is, <clears throat> so, uh, you know, let's we have done uh, bachelor's in agriculture. How does it align till now? I mean, either it is going, to, you might have come through your, Seniors. So generally, students are from you no know, full technology background, agriculture, biotechnology, or life sciences. Generally, they prefer to go there, right? Horticulture and all. So how does it align from the courses that you are pursuing right now, or either it is going to benefit in the second year? Yeah, it's mostly going to benefit in our second year. Most of the courses which are related to agribusiness are in the second year. We get to choose them. Uh, it can go to agricultural marketing, agricultural finance, agricultural mechanization. Uh, you get to develop those uh, insights of how the industry works and how it can benefit from the mm -hmm. other industry that are functioning. As it is, uh, uh, as I said, that uh, uh, the process that where our marketing and our finance, uh, agri uh, which is related to agriculture, is quite different from the other industries, is because uh, we are catering to a we are catering to a person or a community. Uh, who has to be very molded. It's a farmer in uh, Punjab is very affluent and a farmer in some other part of the country is not. So you can't uh, right. disseminate the same product in Punjab and in uh, some other places. Uh, information in plains is very different than the information in mountains. So all of this have to be uh, curated to that specific community, to that specific farmer. And although all the, these things are uh, aligned and anything that we have learned in the bachelor's uh, adds to that because then you will know that what kind of terrain you are working at, what uh, expectations are there, what farmers already know because that's all there in the books and uh, what they are to uh, achieve more. So yeah, that's how it helps. Sure. Okay. So generally, you know, if whatever someone is doing course, most of the people either go for a job or you know look for either you know you know further study. So what are the scopes? You know that you find an opportunity that you find after you know posting that MBA from uh, I am Ahmedabad. So after this, you can uh, go ahead with your uh, job. You can uh, choose your sector. It can be marketing. It can be operations, supply chain. It can be finance. It can be consultancy. All these domains are open uh, for campus placements. And if someone wants to go for research, it's that is also available after this MBA. Uh, you can go for that as well. Uh, mostly it is uh, towards uh, the business standards and uh, everything is associated with the industry. Uh, so yeah, uh, even you can diversify yourself into the food sector as well. Oh, so generally we get all the, you know, all the sectors and different roles as well. I think there is any scholarship or something in uh, for MBA or any kind of uh, outside scholarship or something college. 
yeah uh, college provides college even gujarat government or up government wherever you are at uh, they provide some scholarship uh, also in ahmedabad a, a few scholarships are available which can avail up to 40 to 50% of your uh, studying uh, like course fee um, so that those things are available also banks easily lend loans uh, which you don't have like your uh, you don't have to pay currently uh, it's only after 3 years Two years of MBA and one year of moratorium period, then you will definitely have a job. So then, only after that, you'll have to pay back your loan. So even that is very convenient. All right. And once we get into the good colleges, banks are also sure of okay, they are going to get something. They are going to pay because no, really, really, a lot of people face this issue. So if they go to some colleges, private college or something, if they don't have collateral to you know keep there or something to keep there. they don't get that loans that this is not easy the way we see that's a education loan they are not easy so it's very obvious that you know in ids and ams we get that loan very easily that's just for sure yeah totally okay so <clears throat> next thing is uh what would be your message to someone who is preparing for agri business uh, you know an fbm someone who is just aspiring to you know uh, uh do her or his mba from fbm or irma yeah so uh, my advice would be that uh, it is a very thriving domain it is always growing it is something even in the covid period you might have seen that it's the agriculture sector right. which showed a positive gdp uh, positive growth so uh, yeah it is a very thriving sector it's a very safe sector uh, if you are looking for personal growth it is full of uh, opportunities which will uh, yeah. come to you for personal growth as well and as the, at the same time you are doing something to make the underprivileged privileged to so, help them uh, up the ladder right so it's something that will also suffice you as a human being that you are doing something for the community you are giving them back something right uh, so this is something that should motivate you enough to prepare for agri business management and all the best yeah <clears throat> okay the last last thing from my side would you like to say any moment that has made you you know so much inspired you till the journey uh, i mean till now that you are from uh, the day you were started preparing for mba uh well if i think about that i will say after that i came after i came to ahmedabad i like everyone has this reluctancy that what you will uh, it's all fine everything is going to be going well if you are having a good day uh, the other thing day is also going to be good uh, the administration at ahmedabad ensures that it is not if you are having fun and uh, like on 31st on the first i think yeah on 1st of january we were having uh, like we were celebrating and all on the 2nd of january we had a quiz at 145 so so oh, it teaches goodness. you how to live yeah. a life you 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 will not have all yeah. good days yeah so if you started enjoying that they can't see that you are, oh why are you enjoying how are you enjoying yeah right no it's it's good. they are they are like uh, okay uh, you enjoyed yesterday but today is the time to work get going today is monday you have to work come on <laughs> Yeah, you can't be in the same state all the time, right? Yeah. Yes, you can't be in the same state all the time. Yeah. So thank you, Sandeep. And it has been really, you know, I, I believe it is going to help uh, a lot of uh, who is just, uh, you know, uh, they are going to be your juniors, of course, in the next two years, and who is just preparing and who have got the calls. Most of the people, I believe, got calls from the Amam Dabar uh, uh, in this last week. So yeah, it is going, it is going to be help, and of course, the way you have shared that, you know, cut off and what are the major things. So thank you. Thank you so much, Sandeep. It's, it's great being with you. Thank you. हाँ, अब कोई बात नहीं, हो जाएगा, ये कट हो जाएगा, चला, अच्छा रहा. Oh yeah. चलिए, ठीक है, thank you so much. अब जो अभी class class है क्या? अब तो कुछ नहीं होगा. नहीं नहीं. आज तो Sunday है. आज तो Sunday है. Uh, luckily Irma के तरह हमारा Sunday को class नहीं होता. But हाँ, uh, हाँ, नहीं हम लोग का भी exam है next week. Irma को Sunday को छुट्टी होता है. हाँ रोहित ने मुझे बताया कि इरमा को मंडे को छुट्टी होता है अच्छा आ, पता नहीं तो आप 2018 पास आउट हो राइट 2018 पास आउट हो ना बीएचयू से हां नहीं नहीं 2018 बीएचयू में ज्वाइन किया 2022 ज्वाइन किया 2022 सॉरी यार 2022 पास आउट हुआ तो अभी वही कॉलेज में ही रहते रहते स्टार्ट किया था कैट में आपकी आपकी कितनी थी परसेंटेज 95 परसेंटेज थी अह हां कॉलेज के सेकंड बेसिकली कॉलेज में जब एंटर किया तभी से था कि मास्टर्स नहीं करना है मतलब मास्टर्स इन द सेंस इतना पढ़ाई नहीं इतना पढ़ाई नहीं करना है पीएचडी तक मास्टर्स तक ठीक है उसके बाद फिर 
मैंने अच्छा किया नहीं इवन आई हैड समथिंग इन माय माइंड कि मैं अभी कर लूंगा एनडीए रुको स्टॉप कर 